Well, I hope you like loot because we have an insane amount of loot to get today and that's all thanks to our lovely new armor set. And that's this beauty. This is our treasure set. Now, what does the treasure set do? Let me show you. It increases our chest rarity to 330%. So essentially, every time that we would normally find a common chest, it's got an even bigger chance to upgrade to a rare chest or an epic chest or an omega chest. And on top of that, we have maxed out our luck with Treasure Hunter. So we are constantly getting plus five luck all the time. Hmm. It's getting a little bit dark. We probably should sleep. Now, what we're going to do with this armor set is we are going to run a THG crystal. That's a treasure, hood, and gilded. And the one that we have made also has super lucky, lucky, and luckier. So that's an extra six luck. Now, throw in some max tenos favor and an idol that gives us another 30% chest rarity. And we are potentially looking at 14 luck and 360% chest rarity or 11 luck and 460% chest rarity. Either way, it's going to be ridiculous. Now, if CWG is awake, we can run our treasure set with him and we'll run the crystal and split the loot. He has been absolutely dying to run his treasure set, but you know what he's like. He spends most of his time asleep. But Vault Hunters is always more fun with friends, so let's go see if he's home. C-dubs! Yeah. C oh, oh, Code's here. Hi, Code. Oh, hello. Hey. Hello, Hellfire. Are you, are you wearing the Hermes hat? Um... You know, the messenger god? He's got like the... Sure. Thing in his hat. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so I have an invitation for you. Um, and that is to run this beautiful crystal with me and uh, test out our treasure sets. Code, have you got oh. a treasure set? Ooh. I don't have a treasure set, but I'm always going for more treasure. More treasure. Oh, what were the chances? I just got this dank new treasure set. <laughs> That is pretty it's dank. It's so dank. <laughs> pretty dank, yo. It's got plus five luck, and it's got 280% chest rarity. Let's go. Beautiful. Well, this crystal is full THG. It's got personal space, plus six luck, basically everything that you'd want. And the great so news is, luck. if um, you want to extend it, it doesn't uh, have rotten on it. So ooh, we can fruit? throw a load of fruit at it if you'd like. I do like uh -huh. fruit. Now, just before we jump into the vault, I have a confession to make. While I was editing this, I discovered that something went wrong in the encoder and we may have a little bit of blurry footage during the vault. Now, the great news is that I fixed it pretty much as soon as we got out of the vault, which is fantastic news, but there are a few blurry bits in the vault, so just bear with me. They will only last until we leave the vault. Listen to this. This is just so Ready? great. <laughs> <laughs> that's so music amazing. to my ears i love it all right is everyone ready i'm, I'm ready, ready. Gilda the chest go burr oh okay oh my gosh uh, there's so many modifiers i'll, I'll go wait. right <laughs> wait oh i need mining fatigue immunity you're lucky i have mining fatigue immunity i totally prepared yep absolutely. <laughs> yep i have mining fatigue immunity as well wait, hey. who went right i did Okay, I'm right, going we, straight then. We should probably add a So Hellfire, you're me. saying that you have 53 health right now, only ah. 40 protection. Yeah. That, we we may already be game. dying quick, pretty badly. <laughs> Hellfire, that's why I told you to put Phoenix on it. <laughs> this is true. Let's, let's see, does this work? Ah, no. So we may have messed up slightly and forgot our mining fatigue immunity idol. So we are actually mining pretty slowly when we haven't got cleanse up. But we're just going to maximize our cleanse time and try and get as much loot as physically possible. And then we can probably run another one when I remember to bring the right idol. Would That's you guys really like happy. to know a secret? No. I cloned this crystal. <gasps> oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> So we have another one to run straight after, if you'd like. Ooh. Ooh. Another one. Bites the dust. Do, 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 do. How is mining fatigue immunity the one thing I don't have? That's really annoying. <laughs> and you're the one who made the crystal, so you do. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it's it's because I <laughs> I did have it on the set, and then I um switched it to a better chest rarity one. So uh... now it's uh. It's gone badly. Dude, I, I could not imagine doing a THG vault with mining fatigue. No. Oh. Well, the plus side is we've got cleanse um, immunity, which which helps a lot. So I've only got like, mining fatigue in like 
half the amount of time. So even though we messed up slightly with that whole mining fatigue thing, we made a big brain play. And what that was, was to get rid of the hunger and switch over to our hunger immunity idol. And that means that every time we cleanse now, we get rid of the mining fatigue. So there we go, we got mining fatigue, cleanse it away. And then we can just take these chests nice and easily. Ooh, Omega Tree. Omega Trees are amazing for normal chests. And especially in this vault, we can get an Omega. Yes. Oh, the Omega Tree never lets me down. So what we're going to do is we're going to start looting the Omega Tree and see how many of these actually have really good chests. So start with this one. Rare. That's an epic. Epic number two. Another rare. Another rare. Omega! Another rare? So it seems to be making a huge difference on these commons versus rares, but not a huge difference on the Omegas. Omega! Another Omega! Oh, the, the factory room and an epic. This is amazing. There's so much good loot in this. We even have guildeds in the place where the guildeds spawn from the workshop puzzle. Uh, just chilling at the bottom. Yeah. One, two, three... Four. Here we go. I should have clicked cleanse first. So we got an absolute ton of loot. We've got a few seconds left, but Code's almost died, so we're going to leave before he ends up getting us all killed. But then we're going to have a look at what loot we got, even with the mining immunity failure. All right, so let's see what we got. We got, ooh, 81 volt diamonds. That's pretty pogs. A lot of skill essence. We've needed a lot of skill essence and a bunch of star essence as well. Oh, this is actually really, really good loot. 26 echo gems and 24 black opal. Oh, that's amazing. And then in dank three, we got over a stack of mud boxes. That's pretty cool. So let's stick those in there. We got a few other bits, but... They'll do for the time being, and if I throw anything else out, they're probably going to steal my stuff. All right, guys, I've gathered you around here today because we have a contest. We're going to wager one etching, and whoever has the most loot from this vault will get the first pick, and so on. And I will wager a treasure etching. Ooh. What about treasure. you, Hell? I will do a dragon etching because dragons Ooh, are cool. Ooh, dragons are pretty cool. And you? I will do a rift etching. Ooh, Ooh I need that one. That is that right? the All ultimate right. prize. So on the count of three, we'll look at each other's barrels. Okay. One, I'm, I'm two, code. three, peek. Oh, you got some good Ooh. stuff. Ooh. I, think I, I think I've beat code. I think oh, I've beat code. Four backpacks full I've of gear. Here's what we got, guys. We got like bronze for days. And Ooh, let's I got see. three key pieces in mine. 14 Echo Gems. <laughs> I got Hell's Vault Three Diamond count beat by two. <laughs> Are we basing it on Vault Diamonds then? That seems to be the common uh, denominator. Vault Diamonds, Skill Essence, and Echo Gems is probably the most important. How much okay. Skill Essence you got? Yeah, I am have... definitely last with Echo Gems, that's for sure. C-Dubs is the winner there, and then... I, I code... get first pick! And you know what? I want my treasure one back. I don't want yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's mine now. <laughs> oh, he took it. <laughs> Didn't take his magnet off. Who does he think he is in a gambling right. game? <laughs> in a gambling game. Let me get back in my chair. All right, you get second pick. Well, Don't everyone, pick. everyone knows I'm going Rift because that is my <laughs> yeah. that is my that final is vault true. set all completed. We are super yeah. hyped for that. I take that and one as well. The last one. <laughs> There you go. You can have the dragon. Oh, wait. No, it's going to see those. Oh, oh, no. Let's play hot potato. Hey. Wait, did I get it back? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have, like, no pickup priority. Coach, <laughs> what is happening? He can't get it. Wait, no, that's going to come to me. Yep. <laughs> We don't we'll, play, pick up the we'll play Piggy oh, in, the the <laughs> yeah, right, in the middle. Yeah, Code, Code, Piggy in the middle. Go. <laughs> No, no. All we're Get doing it. is sitting in these Oh, I got it. Hey, finally. Hey, there we go. Oh, got finally. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head back to our base, and we are going to finally add the final rift to our etching set. So that means that our lovely new armor set is going to be ready to go. Very, very excited for that, because if you didn't know, we did something 
pretty impressive. We finished the final vault puzzle. That means we have access to the final vault. I am so excited. This has taken us weeks to do. And you guys have been watching me on stream do this. It's been so much fun. Really has. Also a little bit tedious, but there we go. That's it. I'm really, really happy. Really, really happy that we got that done. But now what we need to do is we've done a THG. What happens if we then do a trove run? Because we actually have two trove crystals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run one of them without a treasure set and one of them with a treasure set. And then we're going to compare the loot of the two because I don't think we really gave it a fair representation in that last vault. So this is going to give us a side-by-side -side comparison of exactly how good it is because there's a limited amount of loot in here and it's going to tell us exactly what impact it has. And because there's no mobs in a true vault, we can actually go in without any armor at all, which means that this is going to be, first off, our control. We're doing the scientific method. Okay, first trove crystal, no armor. Let's go. Now, these rooms are really cool because you can just go a little bit crazy here. Now, I'm not bothered about these ores in the slightest. So if I just break them, then I just break them. They're not going to be affected by the treasure set anyway with the exception of that black opal. We're gonna grab that one normally. Okay, so now that we've got all of those cleared out, we basically just need to go around and mine all of these awesome chests. And of course, we get an omega to start with, don't we? Lots and lots of commons by the looks of this. This is exactly what I would expect from the control. We should be getting rares very rarely. So we have completely emptied out this room now, and that should be our control run fully completed. So let's head back to the base and stick everything in a barrel and see what we got. Now to make things even more interesting, I'm actually just going to put hoppers around this netherite chest and then stick the docks on top. And I'm not going to see what we got from this until we've done the other one. So we're, I guess, doing a blind study. I guess we'll just wait for those to finish up and then we will hop straight into the other one. And this time we will be using our awesome treasure set. And we can also use our 30% treasure idol. Okay, full treasure set up and running. We have the idol, 360% chest rarity. I'm so excited for this one. Let's go. Go. Now, I've realized it makes a lot more sense to just use the mining gadget and clear it out this way. So we'll uh, we'll do it that way, although it is significantly slower than just breaking it using the atomic disassembler. Okay, so I am expecting much better things from here. So let's start with the very first one. What do we get? A common. Of course we do. Oh, our first epic. There we go. Most of these seem to be common, though. That's kind of strange. I would have expected a lot better. Okay, we're going to do a quick test like we did in the Omega Tree and open them and see what they are. So we have rare. That's an epic over there. That's a common, a rare, a rare, more rares, common, rare, rare again, rare again, and rare again. So basically you just get a million rare chests, which are pretty good in themselves. They're just not quite Omega. And I've definitely seen a slight increase in the amount of epic chests that we get, but just not a crazy amount. Now we're obviously not gonna know what sort of impact that has until we get back to the base and we start unloading all of this. So we will finish off this room and then head back. Okay, so same situation with this one. We're going to break these, stick them on the other chest, and then see exactly what impact that has. So moment of truth, let's start with the control. What did we get? So let's find the vault diamonds. They're often the best way of comparing. So seven vault diamonds, pretty good. We can ignore all of these gems because they don't really matter. 21 of the eggs. Honestly, not a huge amount of stuff. There's a couple of echoes, which is quite nice. They come from the the actual chests themselves. And 37 star essence and 17 skill essence. And only one trader core. So honestly, not actually that good, given that it's a trove room. It could have been a lot better. Now let's see whether it made any difference having all of that extra chest rarity. So seven diamonds again. 
again only one trader core, and 15 star essence and 6 skill essence. That is actually lower than what we had on the other one. So that's really not great. That's actually pretty abysmal. We got extra vault gear, which I guess is kind of nice. And we got a few extra mystery eggs. But beyond that, it's mainly vault dust. So comparing these side to side, literally it is just some mystery eggs. I guess we got a little bit more armor. But that's basically it. We got some more pizzas. We got some wholesome pizzas, which we didn't get many of in the control. And a few more Vault Essence. But yeah, beyond that, that's kind of the same. We even got the same amount of Vault Diamonds. Well, there you go. Apparently, the treasure set is pretty useless. It, it barely does anything. That was not the outcome I was expecting. In fact... I am a little bit disappointed given how much work it was and how much platinum it was for this set. And now I'm just going to put it in a barrel and never use it again. You can go into retirement in here and be forgotten forever. Now a quick announcement. We have started streaming on Twitch as well. It's the same stream as on YouTube. It's just broadcast over to Twitch. So if you prefer watching Twitch, then make sure you follow us on there. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you click down below and subscribe there. We are coming up to 4,000 subscribers and that's going to be so epic. I did not think that we'd get there this year. So make sure you subscribe and you'll make Roberto very, very happy. Thanks for watching everyone. I've been Hellfire Mage and I will see you next time.